Welcome to another how-to video from Bugspray.com. Today I'm going to show you Eastern Subterranean Termites. These are the termites that are by far the most common termite found in the world and most people don't know what they look like. Subterranean termites are for the most part secretive, they don't like the light, they don't like to come out. So they're hidden most of the time. I found this piece of wood in the backyard filled with them and Right now in frame, you can see workers, you can see soldiers, there's some nymphs in there. Uh, bottom line is there's a lot of activity. It is springtime here in Georgia, and this time of the year, you can find all stages. But most times, you're going to find the workers because they're the ones that do the damage. They're the ones that work year-round to get food for the colony. Now... Termites are quite small, as I'm going to show you here in a moment. They're also sensitive to the light and don't like to come out. So they uh, they hide most of the time. Okay, right there, that's a, uh, that's a nymph. You'll notice it's a little longer, and it will grow wings and leave this colony momentarily. In fact, it's already begun to grow some wings. But to give you an idea of just how small they are, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my pen here in the frame, and you're going to be amazed because these guys, <laughs> these guys are really small. There, look at that. That's a soldier right there, and you can see he's teeny compared to that pen. Now we're looking at some worker termites, a little bit towards the left. You'll notice they're all the same size with a dark section to their body. Those dark sections are there because they will take on the color of their food supply. Termites are mostly transparent, and the workers who are the ones who feed all the time will definitely become the color of their food supply. Now, when danger presents itself, termites will set off an alarm. They'll bang their bodies and their heads to alert others that there's danger present. Let me get the camera close here. You can see right up in the top left that soldiers see him. He's uh, vibrating to let the others know that there's danger around. This is... This is a little soldier termite. If you look carefully, you might be able to see him acting aggressively towards his pen. I'm um, placing a pen right close at him there, and he's not happy. He's kind of butting it with his head, trying to bite it with his mandibles. And right above him is a nymph walking by. You'll note that it's a little longer than the other termites. That's the termite that will convert to a swarmer and leave the colony as a winged reproductive. Now if you look carefully you can see some nymphs. I was fortunate in this uh, group of termites that I've got to find some nymphs. They are the larger white ones. In fact, there's one center screen right now. They're very white looking, and that's because they can't process their own food. They got to get food from workers who do most of the digesting for them. So the food they're getting is very clean and refined, and they'll keep their white look. As you can see, there's one very white, larger termite in the middle there. That's a nymph. And in the spring or 
get a little closer here. Certain times of the year, they will grow wings and molt and change dramatically. They'll become black. They'll get wings that will be two or three times the length of their body, and they will leave the colony to forge out and find a new nest site. There's a couple of them right there. It's very unusual to get these in a live specimen sample like we've got here, so it's pretty neat. In summary, you've been watching a short video on eastern subterranean termites. Hopefully you have a better understanding of what they look like so you can identify them if you encounter something like this around the home or in the home. Yes, they're small and they're pretty weak, but don't let their size trick you. These guys can cause a lot of damage. If they're close to the house or inside the house, make sure you get the home properly treated. Be sure to view our other segment, which displays the swarmers, the little black ones with the wings that most people find around the home. And thank you for watching this how-to video from Pugspray.com. <laughs>